To fly SL subs, the load beam has to be attached to the flying frame in standard mode. Remove the rear link adapter from its transport position on the frame and attach it to the load beam. Move the rear link and attach it to the rear link adapter. Bring in the first sub and extend the front links. Lower the flying frame with a slight down tilt to engage the front links more easily. This also helps when connecting subs to subs. Connect the rear link to the sub. Lift it slightly and lock it. A flown array of SL sub loudspeakers can be rigged in different configurations. This is how it works for a straight array. Only release the upper locking pin on each side to attach to the sub above. Engage the display link. and lift the array. To obtain splay between loudspeakers, release both of the locking pins and reinsert one of them into the upper hole. Then lower the array and connect the cabinets as before. When the array is lifted, the cabinets splay at the front, depending on the inclination of the array. The maximum splay between cabinets is 2 degrees. To lock this splay angle, move the lower locking pin to the lowermost hole. That's it.